Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have today in my shop a special treat. It's this truck. 2005 Toyota Tundra. Four wheel drive. Short cap. Six foot bat. Now you might say, hmm, the paint look kind of shiny, sure, but Peter, why is it special, huh? Looks normal. Well, my friend, she's special. She has only 68,000 miles on the odometer. So, this is one of my customers' new purchase. He said he found her on the bring a trailer web place. What is it? A site where you can sell your vehicle, I believe. He just got her. This is his first day and he immediately brought her for a timing belt because the previous only owner said the timing belt was never done. And by 68,000 miles, you will say, well, it's not needed. Well, it's needed by age. The vehicle is 2005, which means it's, what, 19 years old. And timing belt on this engine, to use the FE 4.7 liter, will be catastrophic because it's an interference engine in this year. I already remove for the owner side steps. He said, oh, I can't even look at it. He also wants to get rid of this cover that's for sale already. It's a snack top made in uh, California. If you live around here and you are interested, I posted it on Craigslist today really quick because I needed to work on the timing belt. You can see the cream puffs interior. Everything looks brand new. It's matching the stated mileage. But also, why it has such a low miles, my friend? She's a big traveler. This Tundra was born in USA. Made in USA. But, and I don't know the reason. I don't know if it was military deployment or something. She was living in Japan. This Tundra lived in Japan. Look at it. If I could open the door, huh? There are actually Japanese service stickers. Then she was back in Washington. I think there is a plate from Washington. This will be changed very soon for California. So she saw the world and for the reason of age the timing belts are made of rubber obviously and other materials and that ages so just to make sure this engine doesn't explode we are doing the timing belt job I fully agree with the owner this needs to be done and uh, it's a time, it's about a time, 19 years, original belt. Now this video will be about the pulley. You see the tensioner pulley? I'm removing it still, so I'm not nowhere done. Let me switch the camera settings so you can see it better. It should be better right now, we will see. So this pulley, it's the tensioner, serpentine belt tensioner, and if you work on the vehicle like this, or another, maybe on your V6 1 GRFE, or this 4.7 liter V8 2 UZFE, doesn't matter. If you have a tensioner pulley, which has so much wiggle room, so much play, and spins like this, and makes all these noises I highly recommend you to replace it 
you hear that? It's a sign of completely dried out bearing inside. It's also original, clearly. I just ordered new pulley only. I don't think the tensioner is bad. It's just that pulley is bearing which is inside. And that needs to go. i tell you why. I do a lot of these timing belt jobs. Very fortunate and glad. People trust me with it. It's a good money maker, so I love it. You can take one day, just focus on this, listen music, and do it perfectly. You don't rush it. And it's, it's relatively fun to do. But what is not fun? Anytime you work on it, you spill the coolant. The coolant inadvertently will spill. The way you are taking it apart, even if you drain the whole radiator, doesn't matter. There is always some spillage. There's nothing worse when you put it all together. And all the pulleys were perfect and they had no play and they didn't spin so long because the bearing was not so dried out. This one is extreme. This is really, you can see it's spinning for what, half a minute? It's absolutely impossible. It should barely spin one rotation when it's new. We will put a new one and show it. There's nothing worse than when you finish the whole job, start it up, and one of the pulleys starts making a rucus because she took it apart. There was some coolant which got inside. It's supposed to be sealed bearing, doesn't matter. It's older. You are not going to replace everything on the engine just for the timing belt job. So you thought, ah, oh, I'm fine. But then you start it up and it starts squeaking or starts making some noises. That drives me personally crazy. So I will use and I'm passing it on you, that experience and knowledge of wrenching on these forever. I will not this let go. The customer didn't tell me, go replace these pulleys and so on. But I will not even ask him or call him. There will be zero labor for him. I will just charge for the part. But when I will be putting it back, not right now when there is still wetness, but when I will be putting it back, I will replace it with a new one. I hope I will keep this footage until that moment and finish the video with that. You can see the difference. It will be absolutely quiet and it will barely turn because it will be full of, the bearing will be full of grease. It will be absolutely quiet and zero play. So this is my recommendations. When you do these jobs, even for yourself, it's a perfect time. The serpentine belt is over there on the floor. It's a perfect time to replace the parts which are questionable. And that pulley was doing no noise. It was not squeaking. The truck came, was perfectly running, quiet, beautiful. But I will not risk that. I don't want to be blamed for it, obviously. And I think it's correct practice. Replace it now, not charge the labor. And of course, explain it to the owner why I did that. And that will save them money in probably near future for redoing it, maybe in six months or something like that. Oh, I think the parts are here and in the case of this pulley be careful because believe it or not it comes in two sizes one of them it's 80 millimeter and one of them is 102 millimeters so i had to come back here check the size and this is the big one here is the replacement pulley i think i was over dramatic 
it's not only one turn. When I spin it, we could put a dot on it. It probably makes three turns, but listen how quiet it is. There's nothing, right? It's not like I'm switching off the volume on the camera when I turn it. It's nothing. And also, when I'm holding the center of the pulley, it's absolutely zero play. Now you have a chance to experience the bad one, the old one. You see how it keeps running forever and it's doing that kind of scraping, grinding, all these odd noises. That means, as we discussed, that the sealed bearing is dried out. There's this play. And that's why it runs forever when you spin it. But it also makes those noises. So I will really recommend you to catch this and replace it when you have it already apart. Correct? You hear that, right? And that will make the squeaking noises pretty soon, trust me. It will. New part installed and who will say no to these results? Listen how quiet. Beautiful. Isn't it? I hope many of you will like this video and many of you will find it helpful. For those who are wondering what is this project about, the hint is lying right here. And you can follow this 2014 Passat TDI on my other YouTube channel, which is called auto resource. Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.